Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today is March 4th, 2013. Wow. Time's flying. It's a fresh start, a new beginning, new grace, new mercy, even new miracles. It was so good to look at the news this morning and see something good. There was this baby who would, uh, who had had full-blown AIDS. But by the miracle of God, the baby is now no longer that way. It's gone. And, and you know, I'm just grateful to God for it for giving man the ability to do research, to to uh, invent new medicines, the biomed people, and, and, you know, you can say what you want, but just think of all the people that gives hope to and hope for. Maybe you never had anybody that was HIV positive or knew anybody that had AIDS or died, but let me tell you something. As having loved ones that did, it is not a pretty picture. But praise the Lord that this can help somebody now. I feel good about that. I know that there are people out there that are rejoicing with me. And I thank God for that. I do. Um, I, I want to read something to you that I read this morning uh, in Acts 20. And it's verse 24 and it says, However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. If only I may finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me. The task of testifying to the gospel of God's grace. God's grace. And then I went over to uh, 1 Corinthians, and in verse 19, 19 it said, Do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. We are not our own. We were born <laughs> with a price, and somebody paid it. We are not our own. Praise God, somebody paid it, and that was Jesus Christ. You know, we should be excited about our lives. I mean, he woke us up this morning with a purpose, but not only that, we can put a fresh tape in. A fresh tape. No matter what we did yesterday or last night, that's past us. We put a fresh tape in this morning. The only thing is we got to hand God the remote control, you know, to our lives. We put that fresh tape in, we got to hand him the remote control. Because if it's left up to us, you know, we might pause it. Stay stuck where we are. Don't want to do no more, do no less. And we might roll it back, put it on the reverse button. Then we want to look back over some movie of our life that we ain't got no business revisiting. Either that or we want to move it forward, move it forward. Well, you know, you look too far ahead, you, you're being control of your own demise. I say hand God the remote control. You know, let him order our steps. Let him play the movie for us. Praise God. That's just Bernie Dula talking. But that's what the Holy Spirit gave me. And I stand by it for my life. Hallelujah, glory to God. You know, I made a really stupid mistake this weekend on Facebook. They got a status up there, and I, I really never paid any attention, but I clicked the button and said, oh, it says status. Well, let me push single. Well, I got some responses, got some people got laughs out of it. We're glad you're single now. If he couldn't stick by you through cancer, he doesn't deserve you. Well, there wasn't no him. You know, I've been single for 19 years. All my exes live in Texas. At least one of them does. I think the other one's out in Colorado somewhere. It's all right. It's all good. You know, I thought it was funny. I just put single status. You know, I'm not a lonely person. You know, I'm ready to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, if he see fit to send some nice, smooth talker my way, that's, you know, that knows the word and is, is staunched in the, you know, the love of God. You know, somewhere down the line, he's getting a good check every month like me, you know, or hope to get. Hey, it'll be okay. But until then, I am happy. Don't worry about Bernie Dula. Bernie Dula's doing all right. Praise God for whom all blessings flow. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in his sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. That's what I have to live by. And here's a little side note. See, when you're on chemotherapy and you're taking cancer, there's just certain things you can't do with somebody else. You want to nuke them? Praise God. I go on chemo tomorrow. Y'all pray for me. Bye.